Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love mothers? It's Mama Love. Welcome back to my channel. And a lot of things been going on transpiring since um, we had been in the gym to work out and everything. Everything's going fine and everything. Um, but the recording part is I'm on my camera now. And I got lazy and I was using my iPhone. And I had got the ring light and everything for the iPhone. So now I'm using this ring light for the camera. And um, basically some of my um, footage wasn't loaded onto the, the laptop, the MacBook, whatever. It wasn't loading on there correctly, so it caused some videos that we were working out to be, um, you know, postponed and late and all of that. But however, we are working out and, um, you know, we will show some stuff on, you know, Instagram, some posts. But I'm really trying to put out more videos and things like that because, um, you know, I just need to get busy and get to work. But my thing is... Um, what was I gonna say? It's gonna be very hard to do cooking videos, you all, because the food that we have, you know, like I said, is meal prepped and it makes no sense to, well, I guess I can give y'all videos on the weekend because Saturdays and Sundays are the days that, you know, we are basically on our own when it comes to being meal prepped. Uh, we have to, you know, we do that ourselves. Which usually is a, an, a fatou salad or a, a wrap or something like that. It's a wrap for lunch and it's a salad for dinner. Basically, that's all we've been doing. And we've been doing all uh, like the granola snacks or whatever for, you know, our snacks, whatever. The granola bars. Matter of fact, these right here. You know. Usually I'll have mine with a cup of decaf coffee at night with non dairy creamer because we can't have dairy and all so yeah so that's what we've been, we've been doing and working out i've been feeling real good in my body um i feel lighter in my legs when i walk um there's just a lot of stuff y'all i got so much stuff to tell y'all and catch up on and you know i know i'm looking a mess i'm tired um <laughs> But I said I was going to charge this camera up and get busy. So I'm here for y'all. I apologize for missing in action. I have been missing. I know. I have not been putting out consistently because of the workouts and everything. Not that I'm tired. Actually, I do have a lot of energy. But I think maybe if I stay home more, I could just kick them out. You know, but me, you know, I run the streets and, you know, I've been spending a lot of time over at my mom's house, whatever, trying to, you know, mend things. My brother just came home, you know, and like now all siblings are together, you know, me and my three brothers and my mom, I'm sure she happy and everything. So we just been doing some bonding and things like that. And so that's basically what's really been going on. Um, I think I told y'all in a lie, but a lot of people, may not have heard it because a lot of people don't watch my lives more than they do my um recorded videos my uploads so um i did have an appointment to get my surgery for the breast reduction on february 23rd however listening to my um sis ruffin she told me i should postpone that because that's kind of like putting me down for four weeks also i didn't want it to put me out the gym for four weeks because now y'all i got to the point where i'm addicted you know i'm addicted so she was like it's kind of like too close to your birthday um because my birthday is april 8th but i am having a birthday bash april 10th and um i know that february 23rd you know probably would have given me I, I had four weeks to heal you know but you know we was what if in it like you know you never had surgery before Besides your cesarean, you know, she was telling me and you may not heal just looking just wait and see what the Lord How he the Lord lead you, you know about it. So 
I felt led to wait to after my party. You know what I'm saying? It would have been a beautiful thing, though, to have the breast already, you know, set and out the way. But I think it would be wise to wait to after my birthday party just to make sure that, um, you know, all is well. Because I, I wouldn't still want to be sore. I want to enjoy myself, y'all. And this is the first time that I'm throwing myself a birthday bash, a big one. It's going to be a big one. And um, I really want it to be special because I really never do anything for myself, you know. I always, you know, make sure everybody's birthday is happy and whatever. But I really never thought about throwing myself a birthday party for myself. Um, of course, Rough Rough talked me into it. You know, she was like, you should throw a birthday bash. You know, you should do a birthday bash. Go out big. Go out for yourself. Do something for you. Do something for Reva. Celebrate you, you know. So, you know, she talked me into it. And so, of course, you know, I had to get my regular crew together and get this bash going and stuff. I wanted it to be real big. I wanted it to be elegant. I wanted it to be like a masquerade, like a gala. I want it to be, um, you know, beautiful. So that's what's taking place, you all. And so um, I've been thinking of how I'm going to, you know, pull everything together as far as, you know, pulling a color. My colors are rose gold, black and pink. And um, I'm just excited, you know, pulling everything together. I'm nervous. Like I said, I never did anything for myself, you know, that's big, you know. So, I don't know. So, I got Ruffin, I got Keisha, Keishandra, and I got my friend Kenya, you know, in my corner. And basically, Marlene, Ruff Ruff, she's a party planner. Keisha and Keishandra done did it, you know, as far as putting it together and decorations and all of that. Um, and Kenya, she's the baker, Marlene's the baker. When I say Marlene, I'm talking about Ruff Ruff. She's the baker, you know, roughing. And so, and so I got that together as far as that goes and invitations and it's just the whole nine yards, y'all. I just wanna go all my way. I just really wanna go out my way, Lord willing, to allow me to have this, you know, birthday party you know so that's what's really been going on but i need um ideas maybe i could cook on the weekends you all um but as far as my journey you all it's it's um it's it's coming along well y'all will be going along with me with this journey i mean all the way all the way until i come all the way down my trainer her name is reba i told y'all that before um, she made me feel good the other day when she looked at me. I was like, I see it. You coming, you coming down. And I have gotten that from others as well, but I'm not going to be satisfied you all because I have came here before and I have went back up, you know, but this is going to be different this time because I am coming all the way down and I'm not going to let myself down anymore. Because a lot of times I have let myself down in the past and wondered why I was um, angry with myself. Didn't know that I was angry with myself until I began this journey. And what makes this journey so different is someone like my daughter stuck her neck out. You know what I'm saying? And said that I'm going to pay for your your fitness trainer and your meal preps. And if somebody can go that far and believe in you, then you must, 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 must believe in yourself. And that kind of helped me a lot. But um, I didn't realize my happiness was in me getting up every morning and doing something about it. I know that, you know, I thought my happiness would be, you know, you would think that it would come later. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'll wait till I'm down. This is depressing. I'm still fat. You know, I still got to go to the gym and work out. But actually, it's making me happier. Not it's therapy for me because it's, um, it's letting me know that you finally doing something about it. You can do something about this. You don't have to be like this. And you're going to feel good in the process of coming down. So it's not all about coming down. It's feeling good while you're in the process of coming down because you feel like you're accomplishing something. A lot of people in the past told me I should have gotten a surgery. I didn't want to do it that way. You know, that's the easy way to me. I don't want the gastric surgery. I don't, however, whatever it's called. I, I, I feel like 
if I can lose weight, then I can work out. So I felt good because I, I didn't think I could do it as far as I'm um, talking about some of the workouts, you all. The workouts, you know, I didn't think that I could work out like that because my body was always in pain. But the craziest thing about it is when the more you move, the lesser pain. You know, you can sit still and your knees become stiff and your legs become stiff. But the moment I walk in that gym and Ree will look at me and say, how's your day? And I'll be like, my knees, they kind of hurt. You know, I'm always going on about my knees all the time. She said, okay, we got to get your knees back mobile again. So she knows what to do and, you know, um, what way to get me, you know, motivated, what way to crank them knees up. And she put two weights on my legs today, you all. She put two weights on my ankles and she had me like walk back and forth, you know, like I was marching. And, um, you know, using a tire, doing the uh, burpees as far as me, you know, kind of like, I'll show y'all how she, some of the videos, he got me, like, here's the tire. The tire would be like this. I have to lean on the tire and then I press, pull my leg back like this and I pull him forward. But then I had his weight that's going over my head and I got to do it again. And I do it about like 50 times or whatever. I'll do it with the weights, like I said. And... You know, when I do things like that, or like when I have like the ropes or whatever um, in my hand where we doing the ropes like this and I gotta stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, you know, squats or whatever. Those are things that I didn't think I could do. You know what I'm saying? Because I had not moved in so long. I felt older than my age, you know? I'm looking at, at, at women in their 60s and 70s and 80s you know mobile walking better than me you know and here i am 50 years old you know and i'm like you know telling myself you can't do it and all this time i could so and that's what made me you know <coughs> had a more confidence now and that's what brought my happiness back as far as you know not letting myself down because I had been angry with myself you all and I think I said this in one of my live um, videos but I had been angry with myself for the longest um, and I didn't know I was angry with myself I was unhappy for the longest and did not know why I was unhappy you know remember I used to get on here and I used to talk about depression I don't know what's wrong what's going on and I used to talk about it all the time and I thought it was things that you know, of course happened in my life and where did emotional eating come from and where did, you know, um, when did the weight gain start and, you know, how did I let myself go like this? So, it didn't recently dawn on me to, like I said, to after I started working out and with the trainer and eating well, I started getting happy. I started feeling good. I started wanting to get up and do things and move around and, you know, eat right. You know what I'm saying? Because of the simple fact, I found out why I was unhappy. Whole time I found, I mean, why I was unhappy was because I let myself down. And I let myself down years ago. And you all, sometimes when you can get lost in relationships and uh, you want to please that, that partner, you can somewhat lose yourself. And I guess I'm saying this to help somebody because this happened to me. You know, I found myself trying to go out of my way to please my mate and I lost myself in my mate and I forgot all about myself. It predicated on whether my happiness come from them. It meant if they have a good day, then that means I'm going to have a good day. Which was not a good example for my kids or even say my daughters at all, you know. If that man was happy, I was going to have a good day. If that man wasn't happy, I was going to have a bad day. And that's somebody that's losing their self, have lost their self into making other people happy and letting my own self go. Getting lost and others and not focusing on Reva. And I have done that for so long. So when I realized that I had done this, is the moment that I took off and said, I'm ready to do this. Because prior, like I said to Queen calling me, I had already looked up a, a factor, um, meal preps, they bring meal preps to your home or whatever. And I had looked them up and I had uh, 
text my cousin. She's a um, trainer, fitness trainer. Her name is Lawana Robinson. And I texted her and was like, Lawana, I'm ready. You know, I, just something just gave up in me. Like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of pacifying and making excuses, but I'm tired. I'm tired of pretending. I'm tired of saying I'm all right. I'm tired of saying, hey, big girl, and all that type of stuff. And, you know, you, yeah, I think I'm all of that, but I know I can be all of that in a bag of chips. So don't get me wrong, you know what I'm saying? But I, I know how I want to look and I know how I want to feel. And what's really important to me now is at this age, I want to feel good. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to walk in my heels again. You know what I'm saying? I'm an attractive woman. I know that I am. But a lot of men, you know, they don't look at women that's heavy. A lot, a lot, I ain't say some, uh, all of them. I said a lot of men. Some men don't look at heavy women. And last time I talked about this, I kind of got, you know, kind of bashed for it. But like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm in this body. I'm talking about my body, y'all. Heavy set, y'all said, well, we, we big girls rock, we divas. I'm not, okay, that's y'all. I'm speaking for Reba. <clears throat> I'm talking about my experiences and things that I'm, I'm going through as a heavy woman. No one wants the heavy woman because I don't want no heavy man, you know. But I had to get myself back, you know, and find out what the problem was. And once you find out what the problem was, is with the, that you're going through that kind of like holds you back, then you begin to heal. And so that's what's going on. I'm beginning to heal because I realized what the root of the problem was. The root of the problem was I was angry at myself because I let myself go. And I'm talking about way before Queen. Way before Queen. Way before I was pregnant. Um, I always had a nice shape. I stayed 13, 14. I stayed that size. 5'10", 13, 14, couldn't tell me nothing. 15, 16, it was cool. 17, 18, it was all right. 18, 20, I still looked it good. But then, you know, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, you blowing up, you know what I'm saying? So the pregnancy with Queen kind of really didn't help the fact that I was already at a 22, 24 when I got pregnant with her. After that, it was just a I don't even want to say what I was, but I was wondering like, dang, how did you get here? You know what I'm saying? So I kind of accepted that and let that go and was saying, oh, I'm a mom and all this. Well, you know, it don't matter now and all this type of stuff in my young years, because like I said, I was 25 when I had Queen and I was 32 when I had Tina and 33 when I had Terrell. So I kind of, you know, kind of let myself go there and, um, you know, I made excuses for it all this time. But now, you know, at first I was angry with the people that I was in a relationship with and I almost wanted to blame them. Like, you know, you had me in the house, you was aggressive, you was possessive, you, you know, you was jealous, you didn't want me to go nowhere. It was all right when I was cooking every day, slaving in the kitchen like I'm Big Betty Crocker the mama and all this type of stuff for my kids and for my, um, whatever, you know, ex. And just really kind of not focusing on me, kind of focusing on them when I should have been really focusing on me. Cause if you love yourself, you're gonna take care of yourself first, y'all. Self-preservation. My uncle Sonny always said it, my daddy's brother. He would say self-preservation, that's what it's about. So when you love yourself, you can love your mate better. And if your mate jealous of you because of the simple fact that you love yourself more and you looking out for you, but you still can love on them and look out for them, then get away from him cause he's just a selfish man and he ain't no good, flat out. Take care of yourself, because once you let your body go, it don't matter, they gone out the door anyway, and you stuck. It didn't matter about your bacon. It didn't matter how good you cooked. It didn't matter how good you massaged them down. It didn't matter how good you had the bath water ran, the house clean, the kids clean. None of that mattered, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the looks with a shallow man. I'm gonna say that, with a shallow man. But I'm gonna say this, long as you keep yourself together, and as long as you don't lose touch with yourself, once you, when you're in a relationship, then you all good. But if you can't contain losing yourself and you get up into a person and you let yourself go, stay single. Cause it's not worth it. It's not worth the pain and agony that you go through when you're not loved and you're the only one in a relationship that's loving. Now I'm bringing this up because Y'all, this is where my unhappiness came from. This is where I let myself go at. This is where I let myself and my weight go at. In a relationship involving their feelings instead of mine. 
You know what I'm saying? And I go, like I said, I'm going back now, way before Queen. I've been in this, and in out of different relationships, I would say two good ones for a long time, and I wasted a lot of years there. So, now, I let all that go. I heard a voice, and I know it was the Lord, to say let it go and forgive yourself. And I had to forgive myself recently. Recently, you all. From, from, from 24, no, I'm gonna start it all the way back. From, from 17 to 24 to now. I'm just now realizing, forgive yourself and move on. Get this fat up off of you. Become yourself again. Find Reva, she's in there, that same girl, and bring her out. And that's what I plan on doing. And this video was like 20 minutes long. But I just had to tell y'all that and get that off my heart, you all. I really wanted to say the message in this, I guess, was don't lose yourself. Don't lose yourself, and I don't care who they are. I don't care how good they look and how big it is. I'll say that. It don't matter. Always focus on yourself and love yourself more. Because when you do, that man going to love you more and he going to have respect for you. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video out. Please comment share subscribe also please comment below of videos or topics that you would like for me to do like i said i could cook for y'all on the weekends but i really can't cook during the week because of meal preps and i don't want to uh, waste food i'm cooking for nothing it's prepped already so let me know um here on out in your comments that it help all right so peace out in jesus name be blessed